All right, everyone. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be working today on pretty much prepping a PSA order because they just lowered the prices to $18 and I have a big stack of cards that I want to get at least pre-graded today. So I'm going to go ahead and record bits and pieces throughout the process and hopefully you guys find some value in it. Um, but let's do some cracking first and I'll do some pre-grading. You guys will see snippets of that. And then I will show you the final submission uh, prior to sending it to PSA. So stay tuned. So one thing that I want to just point out is that obviously I'm pre-grading these cards and while I'm doing the, that, I'm ultimately deciding whether, you know, I'm going to send this card off to get graded or if I'm not going to send it off to get graded. But what I wanted to point out is that if you're going to spend time pre-grading a card um, and deciding if it, you're going to send it off to get graded, why don't you make notes for yourself? You know, this sticker right here says nine plus. It, I think it has a possibility of getting to a 10, but I'm more or less leaning towards it being a nine. And the reason why is there's, there's, there's a surface issue. So if I were to ever to post this online for sale, I would know what to point out on, you know, eBay. I would say, Hey, you know, maybe there's a potential surface issue. And then I could actually take a picture of it. Not only so that I could be transparent to my buyers on eBay, but also because then I can kind of protect myself as well. So again, if you're going to take time to pre-grade cards, make notes on the card so they're easily accessible later. I love to use painter's tape. You can use an Excel spreadsheet if you want to. Um, but if you're going to spend time now, try to prevent yourself from having to spend more time later because if you have a, a huge collection, um, you're going to sacrifice a lot of time just pre-grading cards and trying to find out, hey, is this gonna be worth grading or not? All right, so I know that you just saw a couple clips on what I was doing to prepare this order, but now I have pretty much spent a few hours throughout the day. It is now nighttime and I am ready, or so I believe that I am ready to go ahead and show you all the cards that I'm submitting to PSA now that they have a bulk submission rate back. So again, throughout the throughout the film thus far, you guys have seen some of my pre-grading methods, um, cracking some slabs or whatever it may be, but truly the purpose of this video is to go ahead and not only show you all the cards that I'm going to be sending over to PSA, but also it'll serve as a sort of uh, recap for myself on what cards I'm sending, why I'm kind of sending them, and the current quality. Now I said it earlier in the video that I'm going to be really critical with the cards that I am sending this this time around because I really want to try to focus on getting gym mints because um, you know most of these are QBs but but there are some non-QBs in there. So there's a few cards that I'm taking a little bit of a calculated risk with I'll explain that in the video here soon to come. But honestly, just sit back, check out these cards that I'm sending that I just found in the collection. I'll go ahead and show you a stack of cards that I went through that I'm choosing not to send for various reasons, but enjoy. Let's go through this stack, sheesh, of cards. And I'm gonna make this as fast as I possibly can um, while kind of achieving the goal here and capturing the quality of the card so 
Tom Brady contenders optic MVP prism that I had some light corner wear so this is probably going to be a nine but uh, Tom Brady always sells well touchdown masters mosaic prism super clean uh, car didn't really see any issues with this one confident in a in a 10 for that all the marks you see is obviously on this BCW uh, card saver but have two Zach Wilson a little off centered on the back but um, it was otherwise a very clean card and we also have another Zach Wilson variation this one was very clean again a little off centered on the back Zach Wil Wilson purple shock optic super clean card and the centering was almost perfect this was a cracked card, Zach Wilson Mosaic Prism. This was a CSG 10. We have the two other, we have two more CSG 10s, the Trevor Lawrence Field Level uh, Draft Picks. So cracked both of these open, gonna go ahead and resend those to PSA. In addition, I purchased a Silver Prism Field Level. Thought this was a clean copy. Maybe go for a rainbow or something, not sure. Grab this from uh, a Twitter sale. Four out of 10, Drew Brees, Contenders Optic, MVP Gold Prism, love it. CSG, I believe this was a 9.5 or 10. I'm not sure, right off the top of my head, but the Jubilee, super short print, couldn't resist. Now here's a couple Drew Brees cards that I picked off on an auction, super. Uh, for super cheap. So this is the authority figure. This one's actually numbered at a 750 with Doug Flutie on there. Got another Drew Brees rookie card. This one's numbered at a 999. This one had a little bit more wear on the corner, but overall I thought this would, would be a good candidate for $18. I have two, two of these bad boys, the Qu Quantum Leaf rookie Drew Brees in his Purdue jersey. Maybe a little... Uh, little corner wear but honestly this is really sweet this is almost like an an early uh, prism probably not really a prism just a nice foil card so I got two of those two good copies got this rookie revolution this one had a little bit more wear than the other cards but see in the top corner there but it's numbered at 4,000 and it's a rookie card so it's getting sent got two Derek Carr Bowman Chrome uh, die cut pris refractors because it's Bowman. Uh, these were CSG 10s. Gonna go ahead and send them in and see if they can get a PSA 10. I was very surprised that this is the only Davis Mills that made the cut, but a blue scope, almost perfectly centered. Davis Mills, rated rookie. Got two Geno Smith Select Silver Prisms. Gonna be very interested to see what he can do for the long term this year. But so far, he's looked uh, really good. So, gonna send him in. Have a few more Geno Smiths in the collection. Just gonna start with those two. CSG 10, one out of 10 Christian McCaffrey night school rookie card. Got no tra got this got no traffic in the CSG 10 slab. So, gonna go ahead and send it over. As you know, I love Contenders Optics, so Crack Dice Antonio Gibson, numbered out of 22. This guy's, he's great. I know there's a little bit more depth in the backfield at, in Washington, but can't resist. I had eight copies of Chris Godwin Silver Prisms. None of them really made the cut, except for this one. And this one may, this little whitening right there, that's just an additional piece of the cardboard. Otherwise, this was a super clean copy. So we got a Justin Jefferson Purple Prism. Premier level rookie card. Very, very nice copy. As well as this blue club level prism. Justin Jefferson rookie. Got a Christian Kirk. This one is actually classics. Not really in love with that set. But this is 6 out of 10. He was really good for the Cardinals. I picked up a, a gold prism out of 10. Uh, last year sold it while he was still hot for Arizona. So far with the Jags, he looks good. So I'm gonna try to slab this one and sell it. If you recall one of our previous PSA openings, I have a top shelf uh, Pulsar Refractor Auto out of five, Mike Evans. Purchased this, same, this card in that same lot. Gonna see if I can get a 10 on that one. 
So this one was an HJ 9.5, but this is very off-centered. You can tell by the left side and the right. Uh, however, this is two out of 10. I cracked this from a slab and I was a little disappointed in my efforts because this bottom left corner got a little damaged. So honestly, the, the centering already justifies a nine. If this gets an eight, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a nine. If they give me a 10, even better. Another DeAndre Hopkins here that got absolute football out of 199. Clean copy. I thought there were some minor surface blemishes, so probably going to be a 9, but it's a numbered rookie card. Both of these DeAndre Hopkins tops rookie cards were super cleaned, uh, very centered. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these came back 10. DeAndre Hopkins, gold die cut out of 10. This one is... 8 out of 10, sorry, geez. 8 out of 10, gold, checkerboard, prism, die cut. First year of the Cardinals. Um, I had I was, I was chasing the rainbow, but now I'm just looking to sell it. This was a CSG 10 along with the next two. Um, so honestly, just trying to slab it and get it sold. Got a tie-dye out of 25, another CSG 10, as I mentioned. Super clean, had no issues cracking this one. Got the zebra. This should come back. He's currently not playing, um, but by that time they just get back, it'll probably be late season. So hopefully the Cardinals are making a playoff push and this guy gets some love. Uh, so you got the purple pulsar at a 21, clean copy. A little bit more centered. So this left side and the right side on the cracked ice was four to two. This one was about, this one was a, a little bit, I think it was three, four on the gym mint tool, but I still think it has a shot at a 10, another copy, same exact card, just two of 21, another clean copy. Got a honeycomb of Deo figure. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the Colts. Might as well just get this card graded and sold. Love this rated rookie rocket ship um, optic card, uh, Trayvon Morin. Uh, you guys know me with my my defensive players. I think this might have a chance at a 10, but I'm almost positive it's going to get a 9. But it's a super short print, so I figured might as well get it, slabbed, sell it to a fan. Aaron Donald Cracked Ice Contenders Optic from this year at a 22. Just love the Cracked Ice. So really hoping for a 10, but ah, man, really hoping for a 10. It was a clean copy. Got a longevity Aaron Donald. Not a lot of people know that the longevity is a parallel in this set, so they'll just sell it as if it's a normal, but it's got a really cool uh, shine to it. This was a clean copy, figured it had a good chance at a 10. TJ Watt, just bad timing. Nice prism of the guy. Figured might as well just get it graded. Again, got some extra fuzz on the side there, otherwise clean copy. All right, so now we have uh, potentially some PC cards, but we got a rated rookie Jalen Ramsey purple, which is the retail Donruss optic, low off centered on the back, otherwise a good copy. Got a hollow. I think this one is probably going to be a nine. Um, I have a ton of Jalen Ramsey cards. He's him, Drew Brees, are and Mike Evans are like my primary PC, so. I have a ton of his cards. This one had a little surface blemishes, uh, but we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that one gets a 10. I had this pre-graded as a nine. It's a little off-centered as you can tell, but it's a Blue Prism rookie out of 199 of Jalen Ramsey. So I think it's gonna come back a nine. Would love to get a 10. Then we have, I'm just gonna speed roll these three. We have three Jalen Ramsey Silver Prisms. Don't know off the top of my head which ones are. Uh, I know, I've, I'm pretty sure one of these was, I had pre-graded a nine, the other two were 10. I think this last one was pre-graded a nine. Had some issue above the eye. But I got a ton of these cards, really testing the waters with three, but this one is awesome. So there was a little horizontal uh, surface print lines. 
hoping PSA overlooks it in all honesty. So this might get a nine. Shoot, it might get an eight. Not exactly sure. I have three of these autos. None of them are in good quality, but this is the best one of the three. Figured I'd give it a shot. Offensive lineman, Jim, I'm talking to you, man. This is this is the offensive lineman that I'm investing in. Um, I don't say it's a PC, but I'm not selling any of his cards at the moment. But figured I'm going to start getting some of his cards graded just to kind of see what go, what happens with it. So here's a select auto at a 149, but not a prism like Zach Martin. Here is the select red out of 99. This one was nice. I really love the Mojo Prism from Select this year. So here's here's an example of that. I had no clean copies of the Silver Prisms, but all the Mojos that I have looked really nice. Here's a Crown Royale. This one is actually numbered out of 14. They really number these weird. Um, hopeful that this comes back at 10, but I'm, I'm almost positive it's going to be a 9. Had some corner issues. Here's a Purple Parallel. This one's numbered out of 10, so that last one was out of... What was it, 12 or 14? 14, and this one's out of 10. Weird, right? But take it. Top's Finest Silver Refractor. Very clean copy. Leaning towards a 10, but I've been saying that a lot this video, so who knows. Here's an interesting one. I purchased a lot of probably about 50 or 60 Zach Martin uh, refractors from Top's Chrome. So here's a blue one. Um, not exactly sure what the parallel is, but we'll see what this one does. Um, I'm interested because I have a lot of those cards. Only have an orange prism that I thought was worthy of this uh, submission. It does have a little minor uh, corner wear on that backside. Otherwise, it was a clean copy on the front. This one is super, super cool. This is a uh, Brent, Brendan Hagel, 12 out of 15 Ultimate Rookies Jumbo Patch Auto. It's on card. Look at that. That is a sick patch of the of the Black Hawk uh, head. It's cut out. Probably one of my cleanest copy. I'm definitely not selling this one. Uh, figured I just wanted to get it slabbed, so um, why not? I mean, this is a super thick card. I will be flabbergasted if this comes back at 10, but this is definitely my nicest copy i don't know i'm trying to figure it out this is my nicest copy actually on two two maybe three nah definitely two two of these um this is the nicest copy nicest patch uh, nicest condition so i will uh be shocked if it comes back in 10 but i would love it csg 10 water franco um got no love in the slab so i'm gonna try my luck with psa Got this really cool Chris Bryant. I believe this is a rookie card. Um, and it's like this blue shimmer prism. I'm gonna test my luck. Phenoms, top's finest Derek Jeter. This is just a base card here. Looked really clean, actually. I was kind of uh I was kind of shocked. Uh maybe a little heavy left to right, top to bottom. I would love to I would love to see this come back in nine. I'll be shocked if it's a 10, but um, just getting this in nine would be really cool. So we got a uh, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosch, Matrix uh, rookie. Got another uh, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosch rookie here with TJ Ford. Here we got Bosch and Carmelo Anthony. These next two cards are awesome because I actually picked these up from one of our shows at, a, at one of our nearby shows. I picked these cards up from, man, I don't know. I think they're like a dollar a piece, but the comps on these cards are ridiculous. So I'm sending them off. Uh, they look clean to my eye, but I'm just going to send them off because I want to finish that kind of um, experiment with that card show. And these are the last two cards of the mix. So depending on how well these cards sell and how I the you know, depending on how well they grade, depends on how well they sell. And then after that, you can really get a good idea of how well I did that card show. So I've got, a, got some more cards. Thanks for you to the, to, the, to the ones that are staying with me. I know this is a long video, but now we're transitioning over to some more modern basketball. So Nick Richards, Green Prism, thought this was really clean, well-centered. Give it a shot. 
Peyton Pritchard, rated rookie purple. So I'm assuming this is a retail product. Looked pretty clean. I think there was a minor surface issue in the top left here. I'm not a very so don't bash me in the comments, but I'm not a I'm not a huge basketball uh, fan or collector, but I'm just dabbling a little bit. Say I'm kind of throwing money down the toilet. It is what it is, but select courtside shimmer prism. I have one of these at that grade a PSA 10 of Lamelo. I'm kind of contemplating uh, collecting all of the courtside rookie shimmer prisms. But anyways, this is Peyton Pritchard, clean copy. Off uh, the next two are clean as well. Desmond Bain, courtside shimmer. Got these dirt cheap. Malachi Flynn. Got them dirt cheap because they're probably not performing that well, and uh, we'll see if they grade out. Got a Killian Hayes, green mosaic. This was the cleanest copy I had of a mosaic. Didn't want to really risk it too much with uh, mosaic. Got another Killian Hayes. Of course, this is a flux. However, this one is numbered out of 49. So I'll take the risk on that one. Got an Isaac Okoro. This is a Rookies and Starts Crusade. This one is also numbered out of 149. My big investment this year for basketball, Tyrese Halliburton. This is just a base prism. Thought it was super clean. Um, centered on the front, low OC on the back. You can tell left to right, but otherwise um, I'm gonna risk it with a base prism. Red, white, and blue. Liked it. This was a little off centered. I had it nine plus. Uh, probably gonna end up being a nine, but wanted to risk it. And the last two cards got a Lamelo ball out of flux. This is the freshman year silver prism. And the last one. This is a cracked card. This was a CSG black label nine point five uh, Lamelo ball. Just the base concourse prism. Clean card. Um, would love to see this one come back at ten. But anyways, uh, thank you all for, for joining. Uh, thank you to everyone who stayed this long. There may be a few additional cards that make the cut, but in, uh, as of right now, this is gonna be a huge, huge submission. Let me count it once. So all these cards here, it looks like we got 79 cards so 79 cards and i probably went through another i don't know 80 cards 90 cards so the fact that i pretty much knocked out 50 percent of that i know this is going to be a huge submission that's oh man i don't even know how i'm going to explain this but huge submission nevertheless i mean 79 cards psa 18 bucks i mean i'm, I'm closing in it's over a thousand dollars just right there and in, in grading cards but anyways uh, again the objective of you know taking this video was just to show to you guys <sighs> all right so uh, that's the video that is um, essentially my pre-grading process and uh, final determination of the cards that I am going to be sending to PSA for this $18 bulk rate submission it is gonna be well over a thousand dollars for the cards if I remain firm on the cards that I have here, which, you know, I'm probably going to be. Um, but at the end of the day, it's 80 cards. I think they're all quality copies. They're either superstars or rookie skill positions that are, you know, at the either the top of their position or somebody who I believe could be very good in the upcoming year or you know, even this year by the time I get this back. So I think there's a limited amount of uh, risk with this submission uh, just because I've pre-graded these cards essentially twice. Um, again, the objective is to get as many tens as as I can. I know it's an $18 submission, so usually I'd be going for nines and tens, but in this specific order, just because I started with close to probably 200 cards i'm really just trying to focus on getting tens as much as possible and if it is going to be a nine it better be a superstar player a qb or a future hall of famer something like that or a super short print so anyways i know this is a super long video but i figured this would be a great way to kind of track the progress uh pre-submission and then once we see the graded card reveal we can kind of see you know where it started and how it ended so 
Anyways, thank you all so much for joining. We'll see you on the next video.